So the hottest thing in Japan right now, according to a very quick Google search, is this chair. Let's take a look. That's the one right there. It's, yep. a, it's a gaming chair that looks like a... Uh, it looks like when A.C. Slater sits backwards on a, a toilet. Yeah, or some kind of weird seahorse. An upper decker reverse bomb. Some kind of... Don't say that on the show. That's <laughs> terrible. Anyway, uh, so, what's the story here? So two million of these chairs have been sold in Japan. They are called basically uh, gamer chairs. I thought they are uh, called Buddy the Game Chair. They are called Buddy the Game Chair. Uh, as you can see in some of these pictures, they don't really look like a chair. It almost looks like a stiletto that someone they drove They look like a, a, truck. a delicious sex food. Yeah, or like the squid from Splatoon tried to like yeah. escape or melt. Apparently those are hot colors there right now. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, they, they, <laughs> they're, they're allegedly like really good for your posture. Uh, if we look at some of these other pictures, you can see that uh, your spine, the way you sit in your classic gaming bean bag on your floor right now, which I'm sure very few of you actually do, yeah. uh, it's, not, it's not a good way to sit. What you want to do with your spine is you want to turn it into a weird reverse bow and arrow and then just squanch all over this thing. Just put your, okay. your pelvic thrust right into the back I of it. I bet that that would smell bad after a minute. Yeah. Uh, also worth noting that a lot of these people are either playing TVs that are in the wrong directions from them, off, or How, hooked up to PS2s. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this photo on the left here. I want to I want to kind of discuss. Yeah. Uh, in addition to the PS2, the first like the first gen PS2, uh, and the gigantic like like tabloid letter sized <laughs> DVD player. Mm -hmm. uh, what's up with those two CDs? Like, are they, are, they, yeah. are they trying to, like, sell them? Well, Japanese culture is very minimalist. What, do so people buy, like, two CDs and that's it? That's it. You just pick your two favorite albums. All uh, right. So, I mean, the theory here is that there are a lot of people in Japan who live in, obviously, smaller apartments, smaller homes. And what they try to do is get closer to the television, which might explain why the NES Classic had a three-foot cord. Sure. Uh, so, this will actually get you right up into the action, uh, very, very close. And you can drape your arms or, you know... Man boobs over the front of these uh, big honkers on the side. What, but what if I want to arrange my uh, buddy the gaming chairs in a little circle and make them look like a bunch of fish that don't want to talk to each other? You like, can do that as looks, well. They look like yeah, I the, can. the fish farting it's circle. It's good to know that finally a gaming chair can also be used for other types of activities such as reading one of two different magazines. Yep, so that's Buddy the Gaming Chair. Uh, you can much buy them thing? right now. They go for around $100. Uh, you can get more that have like extra padding or speakers or what? all sorts of things. So. Um, yeah, that's, that'll actually boost the price up even more. I don't yeah, think that, I want one of these chairs, yeah, but good. I do like the tagline. Do you not sit down on a good chair of the comfort? Good question, buddy.